I found a way to do feedback loops in FL Studio. So basically you can turn something like this, just a click into something like this. I'm just using mcompare and I go into generate source, generate source one. Then I take another one and I just click on source one. So basically what's happening is that I'm sending audio in this chain and compare is listening to it and sending back to the second instance and we are sending the audio back into the chain so it's looping on itself. Um, you also need to go in troubleshooting for both instances and click on uh, use fixed buffer size and this option right there to reduce latency. Now you just have to add a delay to control the rate of the feedback. And uh, if you want a really neutral zone, you have to disable um, filter and distortion, but sometimes distortion can sound cool. And then uh, you can use an EQ to remove DC offsets, which is happening really often with feedback loops, and remove a bit of the high end because sometimes high frequencies are stacking in this area. It's really painful. Um, then you just have to use a limiter. I'm not using the default limiter because uh, at zero attack, it's introducing distortion. And if I increase the attack, it's also introducing looker, so latency. And we don't want latency since we have the delay to control that. Then uh, I, I'm just using the, the compressor as the limiter. And that's pretty much it. You can maybe use something to control the stereo. Um, and you can put any plugin in the chain and experiment with it. There's a few issues with this. Uh, first one is that it's limited to the buffer size. So the shorter the buffer, the shorter the loop is. But there's no way to fix this uh, at the moment. Or oh, I don't think there's one. And mcompare is a f not a free plugin, it's a paid one. Um, I don't know any that can do this uh, for free uh, and that works effectively in FL Studio. But I'll tell you if, you, if I find uh, <laughs> a new one in the future.